Jake Riggs. Hey, welcome to Tech Tips with me, Jacob. Today we're actually going to look into a new studio. Do you like it? I like the brick. I made that. Anyways, uh, so this is our new little studio, and here we're going to show a little tiny studio in the studio. So we bought these um, cheap backgrounds from um, Amazon. Just two different backgrounds here and two different kinds of marble. And you can uh, pick and choose what you want. Uh, what's cool with these is that they come with a little stand. So you just slide on like so. And the other one slides in. Same way but standing. You can do both sides or you can just do one for show. So then you have your subject, which is in this case a cannon. An old timey cannon that's really nice. And then you just put on your tiny lights. This is great, for example, if you're gonna up your uh, online selling ads or gonna do some product shots of what you have and just wanna be cool in practice. So, uh, let's see here, I'm just gonna start this too. See you in the classic double tap to get started. Lighting is everything. So there, we have a little uh, mini set here. I'm gonna get you some shots of what it looks like after. Uh, but it's pretty cool that you can change up which background you have. Uh, we've, uh, we would have used this when you did the cooking show otherwise, because we did all of the, uh, the cookbook at the same time. So we built with all kinds of other things that we, we found around, like metal and cutting boards and all kinds of things. But you can buy these uh, on Amazon and get whatever it is you want. But uh, we're also going to show you how to make your own. So I'm going to put these down and we're going to do um, our own one. I'm just going to turn the lights off for a sec. Preserve battery. Also don't get blinded. Cool. So I'm going to put this down and put this on the floor. So now we've used scrap that we found around the house. Uh, and we did wallpapering, so we have some leftover wallpaper. That's a nice texture to it. And we have uh, uh, just a print that we found laying around that's just been laying around. Uh, so we're going to use these two. Uh, but as you can see, these are a bit flimsy at the moment, so we need something structured to put them on. And we happen to have something in plenty we have camera bag boxes. So I'm just gonna attach this to the box. As you can see, it stands up on its own because it is a box. It's a little bit bigger than the photo background, so you, you get some and you lose some. Uh, so I'm just gonna take some, all right, and here I have some leftover white glue from the wallpapering. You could do any kind of glue that you have, glue stick or glue, wood glue or anything sticky really. Uh, and I'm just gonna apply it to the side and I'm gonna make uh, open up the lid and do it. So I'm going to put it on the side here. I have some paper to mix with. There we go. So I'm going to open up the box to use the lid as the angle. There. there. All right, so I think I'm going to do this one as the background on this side it for you like so and then they do the wallpaper on the floor all right so I'm just gonna take and dab a little glue dab 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 I can show you here dab 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 bucket the glue all right so we're just gonna do some on the corner here If you want to be proper, you can use the roller and do it the real way, if you'd like. And I'm just going to put this up. Here, flat corners. And we're going to use this part. Do it this way. There we go, that's better. Um, do our little dabbing. Here comes the dabbing action. Dab, dab, dab. And get some glue. 
I'm just gonna put it here. A little bit of glue around. The great thing with wallpaper is they usually you can get like extra pieces at like the paint shop or where they sell the wallpaper. Because usually we have tester pieces, so you can get like cool brick like we have in the background, or you can have uh, other for textures or different colors. And I'm just gonna roll this off the edge and then cut it. There we go. Now we have a homemade version with really nice materials. So we're gonna put up our camera again. Hello. On with the cat lights. Uh, see and double tap. It is. it is good if you actually have time to let this dry properly and have a nice even coating of the, the glue. Otherwise, there might be some bubbles and uh, some unevenness. All right, so now there's a whole different background and everything. So this is just like little paper things we had laying around and you can make your own photo background and customize it the way you want it. So this costs nothing at all. Uh, it's actually quite fun to do. Grab a box, some papers, whatever prints, or have your kids draw something for you if you need it. Works too. Anyways, uh, we're going to show you the shots. Uh, and then after that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next one. See you guys.